Awesome. Great to have you on here and welcome to tonight's webinar. So nice to see you all and I'm very pleased to see so many people on and great to see people, so many people interested in how to transform and change energy. So before we start, anyone just quickly in the chat want to type just where you're from so we get a bit of an idea? We're going to disable the chat soon, hopefully and focus on using the Q&A box. But while we're doing it, just to give me a bit of an idea. Okay, we've got a lot from Melbourne. We've got Perth, Shepparton, um, Queensland, anywhere else. Okay, I've hit the chat. Yeah. Ah, it got disabled. Sorry about that, everyone. The chat actually got disabled so a bit early than I expected it to be done. So, okay, Melbourne, thank you. I've got that in the Q&A. Um, yep, okay. Well, welcome to the Be Your Own Physician, learn to hear yourself. And just to get started, I'm gonna give a bit of a disclaimer before we get underway. So I like to be pretty responsible in what I say here and be very, very clear about this. So not intended in any way to substitute for medical assistant or suddenly you go, hey, let's get rid of doctors or anyone else. I'd be a hypocrite if I said that because Plain and simple, I still use homeopaths, naturopaths, the chiropractor. I just use them a lot less than before and supplements a lot less than I used to do because plain and simply, I've discovered that using this stuff, I've been getting the same results and I've been testing it and finding it to be the case. So what I'm going to be doing is most sacred writings and teaching support and encourage using physicians to assist with the healing process of the body, mind and spirit and all of this training is meant to do is to supplement their wisdom and save you money and help you become empowered in your healing journey. Okay, I just noticed a few others come through. We've got Germany and Spain. We've got Las Vegas. We've got United States. We've got Canada. We've got Netherlands. Wow, people from all over the world, Newcastle, Texas. So pretty cool. Good to see you all. Okay. So just a quick one, um, get rid of distractions. I mean, questions in the um, Q&A box, actually, that should say, not the text chat. So what you can do, keep in mind that unless they directly relate to the webinar, I'll be doing them as I go along. Um, it will go for about 90 minutes, um, including the um, Q&A, so to speak. So about 90 minutes. So like I said, this is a topic I'm very, very passionate about. And before I start, I'll probably share a little bit more why I'm so passionate. I'm sure many of you would agree that the world right now is in a fairly challenging kind of a place. And I think that's an understatement. And I am pretty strong and pretty aware, but I think we're in a bit of trouble as a, as a world, as a planet. I think things are definitely, in terms of what governments are up to, what we saw with the whole um, situation the last few years, what we're now seeing with the rising cost of living, various activities, I think we need... I think that with cost of living rising, um, with governments doing the kind of stuff they're doing, we're going to need a lot of people who are capable of doing this kind of work. And all my studies of consciousness and energy, and I've been doing this since I was very young, and I've accelerated my learnings in the last 10 years, is discovering how many of the greatest changes in societies and planetary changes have happened when there's been some kind of consciousness awakening happening in people. And what they've discovered is you can actually speed that up. Um, and I'll be speaking about it throughout this webinar by doing, by basically having people specifically focus and some have called it prayer, some have called it meditation, whatever you call it, but you can make a very real difference. So this is what I'm really hoping to achieve today, so to speak. So um, what I'm going to do is share a little bit about what you're going to be learning today. So the first thing is that who is, so um, many of you were here from Raymond Grace the other week about how energy can be transformed. And this is one of my favorite statements from Raymond. And some of you have come and you've seen Raymond. Raymond is an absolute genius and I love him very, very much. And so everything is energy and energy can be transformed, which means we have the power to shift it. So we'll be sharing a little bit about an intro about using this to manifest health, prosperity, and better well-being. And again, I know it sounds airy fairy can sound that but they've really in fact I was talking to a lawyer today about this and saying to him but naturally it took me a lot longer than most other people to really 
um, learn, use a lot of this because naturally being an ex-lawyer, I'm a thinker. I think things through. I've got to understand as well as the spiritual side, the logical scientific credibility of things. And so I'm sure some others of you like that. And once I got that, I accelerated. Once I started to see that it actually had scientific basis, it was very exciting for me. So there's that first and foremost. Um, there's exploring the fascinating world of quantum physics and how it intersects with our understanding and how energy, vibration, consciousness can use to shift things and make a difference. I'll be sharing a little bit about an intro about Louise Hay and just basically how physical ailments do have a metaphysical base. And we've really seen, this is where I've seen a lot of results. And when you can identify the emotional background of what's going on, and even recently, I'd, I had noticed that I'd, I'd slimmed down, I'd leaned out beautifully, I'd been doing a lot of work and, you know, fitness and exercises and Pilates and getting really strong and fit and things like that. The one thing that was very bizarre was I had this sort of extra layer of belly fat that just wouldn't, you know, move. And I was eating well, doing everything right. And I was in Bali about five months ago and the wellness clinic I was at, they said to me, the issue isn't physical with you. You're actually very good shape. It's metaphysical. They said um, the doctor there was a Chinese medicine doctor who could read energy. And she said to me, you've actually got a very major blockages going on around your stomach. And she said, most belly fat is caused by metaphysical blockages. I said, ah, so that got me busy doing that kind of work. And that the last month, especially, I've accelerated. And I, and I deliberately made sure I ate food that I like eating, even ate some quite fatty foods like chips and burgers, um, ate much, much more fatty foods than I was eating six months ago, and I've lost a lot of fat, literally using this kind of stuff, finding at the root of belly fat using that. So that's just an example. This is one of the most exciting developments, and I see this as I'll be sharing as the next um, phase of evolution and learning beyond the psychological which has become a big learning about how the mind affects your health and the etheric thing i think it's going to become the next big point of awareness um this is the one which i shared and i know for some of you who saw raymond grace's newsletter shared my story about being your own doctor and how i had various videos um proving basically stuff that i was doing and things like that um um, I was planning to show them to you tonight. I still do. I, I just realized I completely forgot to put them onto my computer. What I'm going to do is just give me 30 seconds. I'm going to race off and come straight back, get, get my phone and upload them as I'm talking to you. Just give me one sec, everyone. Okay, everyone, I'm back. I've just started the process of doing that. So anyway, thanks for being patient. Um, so learning how to do that to not only heal, and this one has honestly saved me money. It really has. And like anything, I would... I would not say I've eliminated it. Even the other week when I was at um, homeopath who was doing a check on me, at first they said, I think you need this supplement, this supplement, this supplement. I said, no, I don't. I said, test me properly. And they did. And they said, well, you don't now. And I said, yeah, I've energetically infused it into myself. And they're going, that's remarkable, you know? And so I've been finding this, testing this, testing this, testing this over and over and over and just seeing results. And look, even the power placebos I'll be sharing shortly, um, even if that's all it is, that who cares? As I said to people, even if it's only placebo, who gives a rat um, if it actually works? So anyway, um, so some of what you will uh, learn or what I'll be covering briefly today are these topics here. So basic principles, how yogis and spiritual and quantum physics are now aligning, the metaphysics, the etheric field and the body infusing by frequency. And then we'll do some real life stuff on you and just sort of, you know, some of you will probably feel a real shift. Some of you may not, but let's just you know, get in there and give our best. And I like to be up front at the end, well, there's going to be a big free section with great content at the end. If you've got what you came for, you can leave. But for those who want to stay the extra five or 10 minutes, I'm just going to mention about a one day workshop. There's a lot of people have been asking me about teaching this more in depth. So I'll actually teach properly how to do this and how to apply this and really give you the foundational teaching and how this actually works. So for those who are actually interested about it. So and regardless of whether you want to go to that, um, it doesn't look at the end of the day, I'm really aiming to give you the best, best possible value so you can come along and really benefit from coming to this. So, so I'll be giving you my absolute best. Okay, so let's get started anyway. So these are the stuff I'm just curious if people can relate to this and stuff like that. So... You're finding it challenging at this present time um, and you just put click on raise your hand if you want to you know um 
feeling overwhelmed with the rising cost of groceries, fuel, health supplements, and things like that. Um, that I'm finding that's common. I've been I've been stunned at how much prices have been shooting up. I really have been. And normally I don't focus on that. I believe in having a real abundance kind of mindset. But in honesty, I've just been like, yeah, this is a bit of a problem now. And definitely anything we can find to help people and make a difference is really, really great. So um, you have any kind of physical health issues. Um, you're experiencing really genuine mental health. I actually find some close friends in my life have actually been saying this to me. They said, look, we're getting experiencing some real mental health issues at the moment, and it's really affecting us. And one of my friends who I was about to see and catch up this week effectively cancelled with me for that very reason. They said, look, Warren, yeah, I'm experiencing really severe mental health issues at the moment, and I need to take some time out. And I'm like, okay, wow. And it's happening with a lot of, a lot of people who I actually know right now. So um, I've also re-enabled the chat, everyone, because I've realized that um, it's easier for people to answer if you've actually got things to answer. So Q&A is for specific questions because I'm going to answer them later on. So I've re-enabled the chat. So you have difficulties finding a way to increase your income and just wanting some help because this is something that you can really do that. So um, anyone relate to this one where you just find you seem to attract a lot more problems than you really would like to attract? Like who actually notices that? Like you just seem to attract a lot more. Yeah, raising hand, that's good. Yeah, you can just raise your hand. Um, yeah. And yeah, you're doing well financially. Or what about you? Is this you? Like you're feeling, you're doing well financially in your health, but you're keen to be a lot more empowered. So in other words, you're actually doing pretty okay on the whole. You just want to empower yourself and get a whole lot better. So in what you're doing, understanding is a bit better. Yeah, a few more. Okay. So let's get started anyway and talk a little bit about, and like I said, I try and structure webinars pretty succinctly to walk pe people through it because Look, there's people who are in this work who are better than me in many ways, and you meet, and I always ask, what is the one gift I can give? And generally what people have told me, I've found people who especially need to understand it. That's one thing I found I'm quite good at doing, or it's just one of the things I'm better at doing. Raymond, I admire because he's better than me in some areas. And so it's all about bringing your best. So I like to structure it through and give some foundational teachings to really help people get a really good foundational understanding of it. So... As Raymond says, everything is energy and energy can be transformed. And this is a scientifically proven fact. So this isn't just a statement that we're making. It's been proven this is the case. So in quantum physics of all kinds, that you literally, anything is, all is energy and all energy can be transformed. So um, think of it a little bit like a river. So if you dive into a moving river and do nothing, you will basically go over the tide. So the only way to stop doing that is you actively need to swim against the tide. That's the basic idea. So you've got to actively swim against it. And so this is the kind of way, what I call, this is one of the first things I want to mention is for how mass consciousness works because we get affected. And I mean, I don't know about how many of you are empaths here and you can raise your hand if you like that, but you really feel the horrible energy that's going on our planet right now. It's like far out, man. I'm... If, you know, raise your hand if you like that, you know, um, at the moment that, you, yeah, a lot of people. And so people who are very empathic and sense energy. And the fact is, it's really fearful right now. And people are getting really worried about the cost of living and worried about this and worried about governments targeting them and things like that. And as you will learn today, this can really affect your state of mind if you don't do work to do it. This is why yogis in ancient times would do prayer. Because prayer was designed to keep you. That's why many of the richest, successful people that I meet have rituals daily. Islamic culture, for example. Islam, many, many, many in Dubai and that are very prosperous. And what's fascinating with the Islamic culture is they're very strict on their prayer rituals. They do very strict runs around that, around their prosperity and things like that. So if you, swear, if you basically are doing nothing, um, you'll be basically swept up in the tide of the mass mind or consciousness. And I think you would agree with me right now. That's pretty damn awful and not really something you want to be um, too caught up with, so to speak. You know, it's not a great thing to be. So the problem that we actually face today is, um, yeah, you know, we, fa we, we face some fairly major problems today. And of course, this is a big problem is that I find that 
in Western society, we're just not really very aware when it comes to this area. So the whole idea of consciousness, it's not something we're as familiar. If you go to the Eastern culture, Amazonian cultures, they're very, very aware of it. I mean, guys like Raymond Grace and what they teach is very, very normal stuff. If you're living in, in the Amazon or living in the Eastern world or India, it's quite normal. But in Australia, for example, um, it's very, very different, you know, very, very, very different completely. And so it's one of the things that today, it's it's really finding a way. And I'm sure you would agree, if you don't know how to master energy and get on top of it, you are going to be swept up in the tide of it in your life. The new great replacement that's happening with artificial intelligence. I mean, I'm just stunned what it can do. I mean, I chat GPT is the big rage at the moment, but there's so much more. There's robots now that can literally, they're doing surgery miles better than humans. And they're predicting within three years, humans will insist on a robot because it's less painful, more accurate, and they don't get drunk, don't have hangovers, and don't get depressed. Robots just do their job. So there's a big belief that robots are just going to simply take over that. Robots are able to do learning, and now, now they've got a deep learning um, robot that's been able to literally beat grandmasters of chess um, now where there's no no one in the world who can beat these robots. There's video robots that can do perfect deep fake videos of people. There's, I mean, you watch, there'll be health advice where you'll be able to go on, put your hand, get scanned, and it will do iridology from your screen, from your computer, all automated. You'll get robotic advice. And doctors will only be needed for certain things and stuff like that and to facilitate stuff. That's where this could potentially all go. And it's going to mean a lot of people are going to be caught out. And it's a scary time, like the um, Great Recession. I mean, inevitable financial reset of some kind going like that. So it's just a big, big change. And you really want to be ready and be able to master consciousness. On top of that, I think it's fair to say, and three years ago, people would have understood this less. But today, after what happened with the whole debacle of the last few years, you can see the power of the mass mind and the consciousness to absolutely mess around with your energy, um, to mess around your frequency. It's not hard to see these frequency wars going on with humanity in terms of EMFs and stuff like that to manipulate people's energies. It's pretty damn obvious now, unfortunately. And I don't like to be conspiratorial with stuff like this, but it's pretty fair to say and pretty darn obvious it's happening. I'm, I'm sure I'm speaking to convert on that one. So this is one of the reasons why I want to do this webinar, why I want to teach this and do a lot more of it and help really make a difference in this area and teach people first to do it in their life. But we're also working in the background like Raymond Grace does to create you know, group, you know, groups that can actually start to work on their cities and work on the planet to start to fix this up. Because honestly, I'm, I think that when you've got the West Australian newspaper last week blatantly putting New World Order is here, literally on our front page, and some of you may have seen that, literally said that. I mean, we've got a bit of an issue, which, um, and it's not easy to change things on the outside, but you can start on the inside. And as you'll learn today, you shift the inside and you just have enough people shifting things. You can actually see external shifts. So my own story and what got me into this was just, um, yeah, like I, I had some, I had so many health issues as a kid. I don't even know where to start, you know, and in life I've had asthma. I've had, um, you know, I've had as a kid, which I didn't heal very easily. I had, um, yeah, I mean, I had all kinds of just about every infection and sicknesses. I had severe chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, um, major back problems, hor horrible neck problems. I mean, hard to really, you know, I could just about give you a list. I was a walking encyclopedia of health challenges. And traditional medicine and other things like that just didn't really, I mean, look, it definitely helped. I would, def I would not be fair to say it didn't do anything for me because it certainly did. But I was told pretty much that I was done, done, done as a dinner with my fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue. And imagine over 20 years ago, um, you were kind of seen as some psychosomatic kook who had a big problem in the head. And that's literally what I was told by doctors, some doctors. And that got me on this journey. I mean, I'd always been involved in churches and doing spiritual work, but this really got me heavily on the journey. And doing a lot more of this kind of stuff. And I end up through various healers and spiritual work and learning about everything from flower essences, homeopathy, kinesiology, crystals, energy work, all the stuff that before that I thought was just evil and you shouldn't do it because of my church background, I got completely healed. 
of my fibromyalgia and I was able to get back on the computer and type because for five years I couldn't even type for more than 10 minutes without surrendous shooting nervous electrical impulses racing down my body. And if I listened to doctors and listened to traditional medicine, I, I would have literally been a cripple. I think three or four, four times in my life, I've been told certain things are incurable. Like, for example, I was told I had to get my gallbladder out, which I didn't. I've still got it today. I was told that I had arthritis, very severe, and pretty much nothing I could do about it. Completely gone, fixed a whole lot of it. And I'm not saying any other reason that I did it, using self-healing, higher principles, all the stuff today, and everyone in this webinar can do exactly the same as what I did. So doing the inner work on myself, and this has been my biggest passion and journey, even well behind my other businesses I'm, in, I'm involved in, which is wealth education and other stuff, which some of you know me by, that this has been the thing in the background. This is the thing that I fly, I flew to Vegas, I've flown to mystery schools, I've flown to mountains, I've sat, I've seen miracles that I've just blown my, my, my mind. I was in Raymond Grace's workshop and my knee was wrecked. I could hardly walk on it in certain angles. And I, I fixed it just by using healing and what I learned from Raymond. I saw um, my son's, um, you know, conjunctivitis instantly healed in front of me. There's so much I could share and how I've seen it. And of course, my biggest discovery in recent times and why I'm doing this webinar is Raymond challenged me about, about a few months ago. And he said to me, Warren, he said, why do you keep going to so many homeopaths and others? You know how to do this yourself now. He said, you're, you're, you're good at this. And he said, and you know how to, you know, fix people and help them, you know, reverse vaccine side effects. And of course, I mean, I say that, you know, and I said, well, look, it's happened. I've seen it happen with some people, like it really has, but I don't definitely want to don't go around making some big claim or stuff like that around it. But yeah, look, by intention using these principles, there are people who are fixing it and things that have been really affected by this. So you can do an extraordinary thing. Um, even be able to create your own immune system, um, get your immune system stronger. And look, every now and again, I have my moments when I have to notice and relapse, but I've just been noticing and every time I think I need something, I experiment. The other day, I started to get some soreness around my gallbladder, which happens not so much for any physical reason now, but sometimes energetically, I pick things up. Before I'd rush off and get my lemon water, I thought, well, let's just infuse lemon into it. And bingo, it was right. So yeah, look, it's it's like I said, I'm hoping that today will help give you a bit of guidance. And those of you who really resonate and think, man, I want to do more of this, like I'll be doing a I'll be doing a workshop to teach this online. And I want to help as many people as I can because who knows where this is going to go. I mean, based on what I saw with COVID, there's no question that there's a risk in my view that eventually, you know, various regulatory authorities make it more and more difficult to get access to herbal medicine. I think that's a real risk. I would like to say when I'm wrong, but I think it's a risk. Um, so the ability to do this to yourself helps with that. The ability to be able to master and take control of the mass mind so doesn't affect you. I'm sure many of you who would be very keen to learn about that and be able to heal themselves so you don't, so no matter what goes on in the world, you're not going to be affected. Okay, looks like a few people, good. So... That's the purpose of this webinar today, to really teach this stuff and use it with your health. And the truth is everything is energy. It can work with finances. It can work with your health. It can work in relationships. It can really work in just about anything that you absolutely do. So um, let's just start to cover some basic principles of how this works. Um, so manifestation, it's very scientific as well as a spiritual thing. And I mean, yogis and, and religious gurus and Jesus and Krishna and Buddha and many others for years and many of the Indian swamis like Sai Baba who literally could manifest gold they people saw him doing it or Teresa Neumann who for 50 years has not actually eaten any food and they've proven it you know she was an Indian guru who was tested by journalists um Raymond Grace's friend Jeff Jones hasn't had food for 25 years and just because he's infused the frequencies of um light into his body I've tested that at times myself and it's incredible. It does actually work. I, when I'm hungry, I've gone, let's just infuse the frequencies of the minerals and I've seen it happen. I've been seeing it happen with my body. So this, so manifestation and what you can do is so much behind this stuff, so much behind them. So the universe as a hologram. So this is um, Michael Talbot in the holographic universe. For those of you who are interested, 
he studies all this and pretty much concludes that everything is holographic, like the brain, what we see. We're all part of one big massive hologram. And all kinds of studies scientifically, for example, they found people who had brain injuries, if they could actually program into that person that their brain was fine, the rest of their brain would take up the slack. It's like someone who loses one leg, their other leg gets stronger. Because our body is actually a hologram. And Raymond, and, and I, and Raymond has seen this happen with people, and I've seen this, when you can actually be missing something and you do an etheric work on it. There was a man called Willard Price who would actually say etherically, your dental teeth, for example, like let's say people have tooth problems, he would restore the etheric balance of the body. And within no time, the tooth would actually, the gums would repair and everything. So everything is holographic. That's what he's basically found. So some, some basic scientific principles. I mean, I could, you know, when we do the one day workshop, I'll teach this in a little bit more depth to show you how this works. But newer studies about, um, is basically that. That traditional physics is now being replaced by quantum physics. So the Einsteinian material classic physics taught that um, matter came first and that created consciousness. Whereas um, quantum physics says, no, 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 no. Your consciousness is what creates the material well. And now there's Harvard physicists and there's Oxford, like Dr. Amit Goswani, um, Dr. Venus Williams. There's many scientists now who are now saying that this is the case and it's becoming more and more recognized. Secondly, the reason that we pick up energy of the mass mind and one another is we are all interconnected with one another and with all other living things or beings. That's the other thing. So all of us in this webinar tonight are connected. That's why I've got to clear myself and Grace, who's um, she and I, you know, run our, you know, new breed of religion or church together. We run our awakening work together. We, she's always saying to me when I said, oh, I'm not feeling great. And she goes, Warren, come on, you're picking up people's energies. You know that. And I'm like, okay. So we're all interconnected. Um, space and time is an illusion. Time isn't linear. All is now. This is why the I am manifestation is about knowing the I am. That is why if you say one day I'll be healed, you won't be. Your unconscious goes, well, okay, well, yeah, one day it'll be cool. That's why, as Raymond Grace says on his one and what Jesus taught in the Bible, you never ask for something like, please, God, do this for me. Just give thanks. You've been given it. That means you're living in the now. There was a great healer called Kenneth Hagen from the church who used to see extraordinary healings. And all he would do is get people to give thanks for the healing. Just keep giving thanks. Um, the other one, too, is that the lack of localization that things are spread as one big hologram. So your brain is just a hologram. We, we break it up into its component labels, but it's a hologram. And that one principle was what helped us see some big results in doing some work in our state, in our governments and our society um, over here in Western Australia. And by actually seeing we're one big hologram and doing some work on our state. And I won't go into it so much here, but you can... There's so many stories about the power of prayer, of consciousness work, which have changed situations throughout history. The Great Awakening in America, which saw radical changes in the 1800s, all came about from a group of people who were doing this kind of work and working first on the inner work and bringing it into the outer work. And the final thing, which is the most important principle scientifically for you to get, is what the holographic universe has shown is things don't exist until observed. Only when we believe them to be there by our awareness do they exist. So, for example, some of you are staring at a computer. Some of you are at a phone. Guess what? They only exist because you're aware and you believe them and someone told you they're a computer. And they found with many things, even from autism, things like that. It's just that, what do we do? Okay, you're autistic. So what's a child going to do? Okay, I'm autistic. And you'll behave accordingly. They've done experiments where they've actually got a group of smart kids and taught them as if they're idiots, and then a group of dumb kids and taught them as if they're smart. And the change has been extraordinary. So things don't exist until they're observed. I can remember when someone told me, you know, you've got arthritis. I said, well, no, I don't. I've got the symptoms of it that look like it, but it's not that. Because the moment I said I've got arthritis, guess what? Huh, I do. So if I turn around, that doesn't mean I become some denier. 
But I said, yeah, I've got the symptoms, but I'm, I'm healed and just manifesting in the physical. That's what I would say. And I give thanks, it's coming. I know it's here. It's, I'm just giving it some time to play out in the physical. And I did this even recently with the belly fat. I said, well, my fat's already dissolving off me. I would picture it and it's gone. It's my illusion and it's happening in the physical bit by bit. And it's been happening bit by bit. So we could apply this to anything, you know, literally anything at all that only when we believe them to be there by a perceived awareness, do they exist and we create a hologram. And of course, the yogis and the gurus have really confirmed that. Religion is well and truly aligned to the science. I mean, the yogis have been saying for years all this stuff. And finally, the scientists are going, oh, maybe these yogis aren't complete idiots. Maybe they aren't esoteric gooks. And 2,000 years ago, Jesus even made this comment. He said, you know what? He said, if you actually have an intention and belief that you could move a mountain from one place to the other, you could do it. And history has shown that's actually possible. There's some evidence in the Bible. There's a scripture where Joshua said, told the son to stand still. And so he could complete his enemies in the light. He could conquer them. Now, there's some astronomy. There's a very, a lot of astrolog astronomers have discovered in history a strange occurrence where it seemed like the sun stopped for a period of time, which I said is impossible. We must get our calendar wrong. Now, I don't know whether it's an esoteric kind of thing in the Bible already happened but there's evidence that actually did happen that he actually stopped the sun from moving for a period of time so i think the only thing that limits us um is our belief and what we believe there's a buddhist master called dipa ma who, when she was alive she would actually levitate into the air and talk to her disciples regularly just to show him what was possible um alberto Valoldo in his shamanic teaching um modules a, a shaman in south america he talks about how one of his mentors, he saw in front of his own eyes shapeshift and turn into a bird and start flying. Now, I haven't seen any of this, and God, I'd love to see that happen, but I have seen some pretty amazing things in my time. And Grace, of course, is here, has certainly seen that. So one of the things that they found scientifically is your brain state. And these are the different brain states. So you can't really do healings on yourself or even program affirmations into yourself unless you're in the right state of mind so raymond grace says and yogi say you've got to be the minimum at an alpha and you'll get even better results in a fader so the top yogis and some of the great yogis they found when they put their brains under a brain analysis machinery they were pretty much constantly in a fader state and supposedly, some of the great the yogis who could literally do miracles, turn invisible, they could do instant miracles where they could instantly heal people all the time. They somehow found a way to be in a delta state while actually walking alive. In other words, actually asleep, because delta is when you're in REM state asleep. Now, how they do that, I don't know, but that's what they found. So if you want to move into a manifestation state and be able to do energy work, you have to move into it a bare minimum in alpha state. Now, the, the, to keep it really easy for you, the beta state is the monkey mind. Do, 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 anxiety. The alpha is the way you get into when you daydream, when you watch TV and just passively zone out. That's the alpha, where you're kind of just, you're still thinking, but it's very kind of not much happening. Beta, the best way to think of it is that state when you're, you're kind of half, you're awake, but you're not really, you're asleep. You're a bit of both. That's Fader. That's what's called the seven hertz miracle point when you enter Fader, when you start really processing information and letting go, according to brain neurofeedback um, experts. In simple terms, slow the brain down. And there's various ways you can do that. I do breathing is one way. The more you breathe, and that's why yoga can be very good to slow the brain down. Pilates. Um, even physical activities like getting out and about and doing intense exercise and then allowing yourself to just breathe and relax. I find now with my boba, which I use for my dowsing, I just instinctively now, I've programmed and trained, I just move straight into an alpha state the moment I start to use it. I start to hypnotically just switch off and things start to happen. 
So that's the important thing to realize um, and stuff like that. So the biggest thing is understanding the subconscious mind and the ability to read energy and sense and do things. I mean, historically, we've often looked to people outside ourselves. But one of the interesting things I've discovered is that many people think, well, I'm not a natural at it. Well, they've discovered from remote viewing training um, experiments and various things but not only can you teach someone from scratch to become an energy intuitive reader, like you can teach any other skill, but sometimes they become even better than natural psychics because natural psychics tend to get a little bit of an ego. They tend to get let their emotions get in and presume they're right. Whereas the, the, the trained intuitive reader is a bit more humble. They know that there's going to be moments where emotions filter in and they're going to miss it. So I'm an example of someone, although I'm naturally sensitive, I had a lot of training to do it. And because of that, I'm always aware of the possibility that I, you know, I may have misread things and things like that. So that's a really important thing to know. But what's being taught today, anyone here can actually master this and be a dowser and do the work. And it, it's possible to learn it. And there's so many ways to read energy. And just to give you a few, I mean, the really best psychics can just do this. There's some people who are just those natural intuitive people. And that's just a good way. And like I said, they can just naturally feel things. They just sense things. Raymond, of course, is a big lover of the pendulum. I used to use it. I occasionally use the pendulum, but not so much now. Um, but a pendulum, it's a good way to actually read and measure energy. And we use it a lot when we're doing works in the city. So when we're looking at a city to try and give us a scale of reference. So to help us to actually understand whether there's a negative side or positive side. So especially with things like food allergies, for example, um, I've used this to check and see how much negative and how it is at afterwards. I, I love the bobber because it's big, it's easy. I find it just for whatever reason, the bobber and I get on very, very well. So I like to use it like anti-clockwise is what I've programmed it. And this is actually in dark hearts. They put curses on people using anti-clockwise circles and work. So I'm breaking curses. You want to do the opposite, for example, go clockwise. So I'm doing an anti-clockwise vote because that's very good for scrambling energy is what we found going anti-clockwise and making an intention to scramble negative frequencies and then to activate prosperity, abundance, light, and really infuse um, like good water, good energy, good frequency into us. So I'm doing that intention now. Some of you are sensitive to energy and might be feeling it. If you are, just raise your hand. If you're not, that's fine. But yeah, I'm actually infusing a lot of frequencies into people right now. Just, you know, the highest possible frequencies from flower essences, from bark flowers, from herbs, from water, whatever's needed to help you come to a more peaceful, deeper state of mind and consciousness and existence. So I'm just letting it go. And for whatever reason, it seems to be wanting to keep going. And I find the bubble tends to stop once it's, once it's done and ready to go. So, yep, okay, got plenty of people raising their hands. Um, so in terms of questions, please put them in the Q&A because the chat, I've left it open so people can make some comments. But if you've actually got a question, Put it in the Q and A, and then I can sequentially see the the questions. Um, we also do a lot of this pineal activation. This is a very common thing used in mystery schools. The many Buddhist masters and the and the Patanjali Yoga Sutras and a lot of the meditations of the Hindus. These are very powerful. These codes to actually activate prosperity, manifestation, and things like that. I love codes. We use a lot of these ones, and some of you here know we do this. So. Remote viewing is one of the most fascinating one. This is the one where I actually trained soldiers who were not remotely spiritual in how to um, be intuitive, read energy and read the unconscious realm. One of the most extraordinary experiments I ever saw was by four non-religious remote viewers who remote viewed life after death and their results were all the same when it was absolutely mind blowing when they saw the matrix that we were in. And they all saw the same thing. And they saw the existence of the light and the dark. They saw the possibility of karmic liberation. And the guy who ran the experiment was in, was stunned because he was completely non-religious. He, 
in fact, didn't have a lot of time for religion. And he, um, Brett Stewart, his name was, and he just, he looked like he was like he'd seen a ghost when he shared the results because I couldn't believe it. He said, um, what was actually done? So um, just on the bobber, I've been asked what's on the end of the bobber. Yeah, look, it's just, I mean, it's just like a little hook, really. Um, hard to buy and get hold of, but if you, you know, I know there's a dowsing society in Australia, which I think sell them, um, Heather Wilkes, I think she sells them, I'm not sure, but um, yeah, if you just do an online search, you can find them. That's the thing. Um, and they're just really a tool, that's all. So it's so one of the things to understand when you're going to do energy work of any kind is understanding how the subconscious mind works. This is a really basic lesson. I mean, you've got your proactive and reactive brain. So generally, the reason why COVID was so effective is they hit people's reactive brain. They scared the crap out of people and the fight and the basic fight and flight adrenal response kicked in that, you know, a lion's coming at you and you run for your life um, or you see a threat and you jump up and get your sword and you want to kill them. Um, and your adrenals kick in, your cortisol and things like that. So many people, in fact, even today, I was talking to someone who actually admitted to me. She said, you know, in, in hindsight, the whole thing was ridiculous. She said, I got vaccinated. I did everything they said to me. I obeyed all the lockdowns. And honestly, it was just a lot of nonsense when I look back. It really didn't work. You know, it was just purely fear and getting everyone worked up about the whole thing. And we're saying it was just terrible. So, um, yeah, so that's how it basically works. So if you can really reprogram your brain and one of the things i often do is actually points in acupuncture so for example the psychological point governing 23 is up here so a lot of that can actually help calm your state of mind it's a certain spot um where the governing 23 psych psychology the hippocampus you know brain which programs you a lot is somewhere else for example there's a thymus gland which helps get more life force into you when you're lacking life force just around this area here and if you ever get really stressed, as an example, putting one hand at the back and then the other one on your forehead, that actually helps calm down your reactive brain and activate your proactive brain. So it enables um, trauma, which is locked down in your reactive brain to process. So these are simple little tools that I'll be teaching in the one-day workshop, you know, how to do a lot of this kind of stuff. And it's, it's mind-blowing how effective this kind of stuff actually is. So um, things like that. So... Ultimately, what they found in consciousness studies is we manifest the strongest emotion. So, Gerald O'Donnell, a world class trainer in remote viewing, and used to train Wall Street traders in how they would sabotage through their unconscious, would say, ultimately, your fears will manifest first and foremost. So, you could be the best trader on planet Earth, you could be medically trained like you wouldn't believe. You can have all your assets protected in the greatest structures ever set up on planet Earth. You could be, you know, having the best partner that God could ever or anyone could ever have given you. And if you're full of fear, you will manifest losses. You will manifest someone miraculously finding a way through your structures. You'll manifest a lawsuit. You'll manifest whatever else can come your way or you'll manifest. And, and Gerald O'Donnell said he would watch traders who are very good traders just miraculously like lose their money, like a series of bizarre events that would happen to them, how they would just seem to lose money in the most weirdest, unluckiest ways you could ever see. And a guy who once trained me in this area, he told me that he ran a group where he was teaching people years ago how to trade. And he said it was incredible. He said, even to the point where I was actually, this is a guy in America, he said, I was actually telling them exactly what to put their trades on. And there were people losing money. And, I'm like, and he'd say, I said to him, how could you be possibly losing money? Have you been in the whole time? Yeah. Well, what happened? Oh, I happened to be in the toilet when you gave the trade. And then I got in afterwards. And then, and yeah, he would just say it was extraordinary to actually see that, you know? Um, so yeah, and just things like you just suddenly start losing and losing and losing. And it's like, you don't know what you would do. And, you know, someone says here, mother manifested cancer because of fear. Yeah, in the scroll of Job in the Holy Bible, he goes, your worst fear has come upon you. That's what, he, that's what Job said. My worst fear has come upon me. This, by the way, is a secret of the dark arts. And people who don't, and this is one of the biggest problems the West has got, is this kind of like poo-pooing of the dark arts. Whereas 
anywhere in Eastern studies or philosophies, they are very aware of the power of the dark arts. And I've done stuff and taught about how to combat that. And I've actually had ex-dark arts sorcerers and Satanists to a very, who just would say to me, man, how do you know this stuff? They said, we, this is stuff that's kind of what, what's, what they used to do in the, in the background. And there's an actual story with Alberto Bololo, who actually, they won't go into full details, I'll teach this more in the workshop, where he actually, he said that his mentor once said to his mentor, he poo-pooed and just laughed. He goes, that, can't, that stuff can't touch me, I'm in the light. I'm always protected. And his mentor goes, really now? He goes, I'll make a bet with you. He said, I'll make a bet. But a witch doctor, I know, will put a curse on you on Thursday night, and you won't be able to do a damn thing about it. And basically, to cut a long story short, the mentor won the bet and the guy afterwards when he was a wreck said and he broke it for him he goes what went wrong he said well you underestimated it and you failed to realize the tools that they actually use so it's very important with energy work about doing this kind of stuff um and things like that and someone's asked about emailing details of the training yeah sure look, we'll be sending that out after the webinar as well so um things like that so um they do manifestation in reverse. So think of what we're teaching, how to make the world a better place. If you actually study or like us, they just do things in reverse. There's actually guys like Stuart Swerdlow who's come out, used to be a CIA psychic assassin, as he called it. And I've got a friend I know who used to practice it, and he showed me how they would do it. And he even, he even told me that one time when he was doing it, he had a guy who was very rude to him in a seminar. So he told me what he did, how he used manifestation reverse and gave the guy a migraine and within two minutes to go to leave the seminar. So and keep in mind that many people subconsciously practice the dark arts without realizing it because the moment you start thinking hateful, negative thoughts towards someone and you wish harm upon them without realizing it, you're doing it. So think about how this actually works. And that's why one of my frustrations during COVID was to just actually see the ridiculous stuff that people would be saying and oh we're going to have the army come and lock us down i'm going to have this i'm like why would you want to manifest that kind of stuff in your life like for goodness sake if it happens we deal with it but let's at least do some work to manifest something you know something that's going to get us through it you know and um things like that so just keep in mind the dark hearts are very good at this and manifesting in reverse so they, they can manipulate mass consciousness and well, we've seen what has happened in the media. We've seen how they've been doing it in recent years. It's not hard to see that, you know, manipulating fear. You can see right now the pushes to manipulate people into believing in lack, recession. They're going to lose their money. This is going to happen. And they know that if they can make sure enough people believe all that and it's going to ruin their life and they're going to go into a new world order and they're going to get microchipped and, and screwed up forever and ever and ever, enough people believe that with enough intensity of fear, guess what? bingo it will happen whereas many great changes in history have happened because people were like well no there was the extraordinary situation which i'll tell about shortly you know um i'll just keep going through these slides systematically but yeah if you get people believing in it and it's going to screw them up and lose their power um it just creates a self-fulfilling prophecy so the good news is we can do the same in reverse and master this kind of energy kind of stuff we can do it um we can change frequency and outcomes by our intention. And it's not just yogi speaking, but yep, scientific. And I'll be showing you more about the scientific aspect of this in quantum physics. This is something that can be proven. Scientists now openly accept and admit this. And we can, some call it prayer. I mean, you can call it energy work. You can call it intention. I mean, who gives a rat's bum? We can change the world through prayer, through our focused intent. Um, I have actually been going back to what I learned in my, in my younger days. I used to be a very devoted man of prayer. I would read my Bible every day and have strict rules. And then as I kind of changed, I thought, nah, that's just being too religious. I've gone complete full circle. And although I don't just only read the Bible, I sometimes do, um, Vedic mantras, basically using the planetary mantras. Sometimes I use, um, scripture reading. Sometimes I use, you know, but every day now I'm doing strict structured prayer of some kind when I wake up. I do some throughout the day because I've realized that with the, with the darkness and the toxicity in the world, it needs constant clearing. So it's like being in a dirty house on a construction site. We, we're washing yourself a couple of times a day. So 
We can change the world and change our region and change our area and change our own situation through doing this. Now, it's not like a magic name it and claim it, but it does require discipline, focus, and mastering the principle. So I'm not giving you any quick, easy solution. And this is one of the promises I made to myself, that when I ran this class and I started teaching this, I wasn't going to do any what I call hype, emotional, direct marketing. I was going to keep it really factual, really to the point, and really be very truthful about how this works. And then like, yeah, this is very powerful, but it does take discipline, takes training, and commitment to it. Because when you've been toxically saying horrible things about yourself and others, to teach yourself to not do that is very difficult. And the greatest teachers like Mandela, uh, Mahatma Gandhi, Gandhi, one of the real greats, Gandhi always would work on his inner. He said if there was a problem in his outer world, he would just go all out on his inner world. Right now, I am working on my inner world like faster than I've ever believed because I'm seeing what's going on in the world and I'm like, the way this is going, this is not looking good. And I, all I know is that I'm influencing my world as well. I've got to fucking fix myself up, excuse the French, and make sure that I'm in really good shape. And in my beliefs, what I'm saying about people, what I'm saying about governments, what I'm saying about leaders, really pulling myself up, you know, to become the change. And really make it a much better place because we see it differently. And even a guy called Hawkins, who some of you may have heard, um, did a bit of a modeling of consciousness, uh, how he put it and how, depending on your state, is as you start to get more empowered, more empowered, more empowered, and the lower fear, grief, apathy, um, guilt, shame, it just pulls you right down. I'm sure you could know it. Whereas when you start to go, <clears throat> beyond judgment into non-duality which simply means you stop seeing everything as you're evil this is evil you see the balance in all things you see that often when governments are doing bad stuff it's not just because you've got mr evil or mrs evil running it it's because you've got lots and lots and lots and lots of people putting horrific thoughts attracting that kind of leader that's how a person in higher consciousness goes they go oh we must be creating some really bad nonsense in our government. We must really have some stuff to work out. Um, I, when I had a couple of catastrophic events happen in my life in recent times, I was more horrified. I thought, what on earth has been going on in my consciousness? What have I missed about myself? You know, what, what am I missing? I mean, I'm the problem. I can remember when I was having constant toxic relationships years ago. I always would thought, I'm the problem because I've attracted three women like this in my life. The only common factor is me. I'm the problem, not them. I am the problem. And I've got to get myself fixed up. And as soon as I did and made transformation, transformative shifts, guess what? Started attracting higher quality women, got a great partner who, as I said, passed away. But I've got great people in my life now. And so all this kind of stuff is a consciousness shift, what you're doing. So now I'm going to go into ferric body. So I'm going to just take a quick 30 second break to fill up my water because I'm needing to keep watered up. So give me 30 seconds, everyone, and I will be back. Okay, so who's enjoying it so far? And who'd be interested to learn a lot, lot more about this? Because I'll be definitely sending out, for those of you to leave early, I'll be sending out details of the, um, of the offer and how it will work. So those who are interested, yeah, awesome. Now, I, I hope we can train a lot of people. I really do. I am just want to get people taught in this area because see people, we can shift a lot of people. We can see some very, very big change. That's where I'm at right now. So, okay. So the etheric body, this is going to be something you're going to hear more about in the coming, in the coming years. It's going to become a big thing in society. It's going to be the next phase of evolution. Um, so it's the energetic blueprint of the physical body, which identically emulates the physical body in every respect. It's a higher body, which connects us with our physical body. So it's like a particular energy body just outside you. Alberto Bololo explains it is found in the eighth to ninth chakra. You know, that's where it forms from. It's like our blueprint that brings us into this existence. It carries traumas, injuries from our lifetimes, and it carries it even now. And I noticed, for example, that I was con I had I had a shoulder thing that wasn't fixing, and then I got tested on the machine, and it showed my ferric body around my shoulder was wrecked. So again, I got my bobber, I worked on it, and fixed the ferric body. Within six weeks, shoulders are like I'm doing 
hand stands against the wall now. It's really exciting. I'm actually getting stronger and stronger and better and better. And I'm in the best health and state and strength I've ever been in since I was a kid. Even doing monkey bars again. And literally just like, the etheric body has been the magic pill. Really is. And we have many different bodies, which I won't go into right now. And these are just giving you a bit of a guide. And look how accurate this is. You know, this is a bit of an idea. You got your physical, your etheric, your emotional, your mental, but you carry your stuff in the etheric. And um, there's many ways you can fix your etheric body. Um, there was a lady called Venus Williams, who's a um, PhD um, professor from Romania. And she did a whole thesis on the etheric body and how it brings into the physical. So she said, if when you have an accident or you injure yourself um, or you suddenly get a liver condition and get sick, it's all in your etheric body. And she discovered if you can clear it from the etheric body before it comes into the physical, you can save yourself a lot of stuff. And I paid her a lot of money for a number of sessions of her and she was identifying things in my etheric body and I kind of go, yikes, she's spot on. So this became a real thing for me to identify what's going on in my etheric body and find out and using machinery as well as my own scanning. So this is a really good thing. This is why the idea of frequency stuff works. And when I've spoken to people who understand this and Dr. Venus's work and others, they all say, absolutely, that would work perfectly. Um, Because homeopathy and machinery and flower essences work on, on, on balancing frequencies. And I just say to people, well, it's not hard to believe that because if you turn on your radio on a certain frequency, you get a certain station. And they found and that literally that's how the physical body works with the etheric. It's all based on frequency, everything. So homeopathy is very much based on frequency. That's all it is. Um, Bereki's homeopathic book um, shows you different essences and herbs that work very, very well and to balance frequencies. It's all about balancing your frequency. What um, There was a guy, for example, called um, Hoxie, who in the 1930s um, actually discovered that, um, that he was actually curing cancer. I don't know if anyone's heard of the Hoxie um, story or whatever else. Um, some of you have, I'm sure. But Mr. Hoxie was an extraordinary individual who was curing cancer um, by basically doing this exact thing. Um, he discovered that every single organ had frequencies, and if he could just balance the frequencies um, with the individual, with, for the people, it would heal them. So he was actually getting um, cancer and things like that. So um, things like that. So Bereki material and this kind of stuff. So people ask for Dr. Venus Williams. I've no idea. I met her at a thing. She's kind of gone into disappearance for now. So, but... Um, a lot of what she's taught anyway, but yeah, so Prince Philip and the royal family, this is what many don't know. He lived very, very long, as many of you know, as did um, the Queen, and they were absolute lovers of homeopathy and flower essences. Prince Philip was a big fan of it, used it regularly for his health. So um, he knew about frequencies, and I, my experience is many of the elite know this very, very well. And that's why the last thing they want to do is, is, you know, keep it to the masses. That's been my observation. So flower essences is, is, is another one. I found they're very effective. Um, I've got some a lot of bark flower essences that I use. And I've and I was taking them physically for years, but very exciting how I've now discovered that I don't need to be buying them so much. I just infuse them into myself. And hence why we're doing this webinar today. So Dr. Williams and others even discovered how karma and Dr. Alberta Vololo and things like that. And the etheric body healing can even release karmic print from a lifetime. Again, there's still research going on about that. My experience is it definitely seems to be the case. Um, I've noticed that there's been, I used to believe this is absolute nonsense. Um, I believed in karma, but I used to think past life was absolute nonsense. And until I studied it and studied it, looked into it, and I had some very genuine experiences myself where I actually remembered things and stuff like that happened. and. In the end, I thought, well, I've got to accept that this seems to be true. And um, I don't get too caught up with it, but I see it as an opportunity. But I think, well, the only thing that logically I've concluded was, well, the idea that we've just suddenly turned up and we're only here once is a bit silly anyway. I think that 
um, assuming that we've been millions and millions and millions of years floating around, I'm sure we've been doing stuff in other places or whatever else. So various religions describe karma like a wheel, but every action is a consequence, like you reap what you sow. So if you've got stuff you've carried through in your family, they found these can imprint in your system. They found generational stuff can imprint to you, parent stuff, all this stuff they're finding now can imprint. And we've seen some extraordinary results, even in our you know, spiritual movement, our religious movement that we've won, where we've seen people where we've done work to clear vows and clear, you know, ancestral stuff. And people have just like seen major, major shifts and heal and, and changes in their life. And so really to me, it's all about anyway, just no longer repeating the patterns, leave different outcomes. So like I said, I don't make a big deal of it myself. Um, and it's really just to me, if, if, if nothing else, it's a blueprint, it's a guide, but all my studies now of the masters and teachers I respect is confirming that I have no doubt this is true. And certainly in the shamanic teaching in the East, they all teach this very much so. And there's some evidence that shows that the Catholic church was very keen to kind of um, stop people believing in this kind of stuff. And that's why a lot of things were changed because it kept people very disempowered and not willing to go deeper into this stuff and gave them more control. And again, that could be true, could not be true, but certainly wouldn't surprise me. So um, the newest research in etheric medicine is just confirming this. And that's why I said the next five or 10 years, this will become normal. You'll be on machines and frequencies will be transmitted to you through things on your machine that will heal you. And unfortunately, I do think this is being used in reverse. I think one of the reasons that many people are having major mental health issues and traumas um, is, and I say this hesitantly, but I think the frequency manipulation going on on the planet right now is horrible um you know if you control the frequency towers and the things that are being sent out and what's being transmitted you can do a lot of crap to people raise your hand if you tend to agree with me but th definitely there's some stuff going on in that area and people are being messed around i i've discovered from my stuff i think health issues are being affected all kinds of stuff by direct frequency manipulation and even go further and say there's unfortunate evidence that shows the recent debacle the last few years has left frequencies in people's bodies that can be manipulated. So there's a lot going on, you know, this kind of stuff. And cannot say more than ever before right now that this is a time to learn this skill and master this, you know. Because the old days where once upon a time in the Western world, medicine focused on the physical body and said all that other stuff is poo-poo. I remember when I was first sick 25 years ago with that really bad chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, I was kind of pretty much told I had a mental kind of thing going on by a couple of people and the mind didn't really, wasn't a big factor. It was the body. And now, of course, if you said that today, you would be like virtually kicked out of your profession. So mental health and psychology, mind body is very much accepted. Most doctors will acknowledge the effects of stress and mind and things like that. And now, of course, more and more, many start to see the power of etheric medicine and homeopathy, etheric devices, infraceutical machines, all kinds of stuff to repair. Ken Wilber in his book, Religion of Tomorrow, it's an awfully written book, but the content is incredible, um, talks about the future of religion, which is very much what we're building in our city, Awakening, Awakening event, is an inclusive, integrated religion that doesn't have such a fundamentalist black and white but sees the power of God in many different faiths and beliefs and how they come together, sees how everything works together and will be more about raising consciousness of people. That's what he said. The next religion that's going to grow on the planet is going to be about raising and teaching people about consciousness to improve but well-being, way of life in their civilization and in their own lives and generally being a lot more understanding of others. And that was the biggest challenge for me was to learn to understand all sides of the debate, even in COVID. And I remember you know, my mum and my sister were violently opposed to, to me and I was determined to understand him and work with him. And we actually did. We, I won him over to the point they understood why I went the path I did and everything. So really it's all about this kind of stuff, you know, and um, things like that. So it's a great book, but horrible to read. So just <laughs> if you're brave, you can try, but it's just horrifically written. Um, and Venus Williams, they talk about how these etheric tears, wounds, all that kind of stuff, which are unresolved, will manifest. Um, and the next phase of religion, they, they predict, will be a growth of etheric medicine. This is something that Ken Wilber talks a lot about in the book as well. He said that's going to be a big part of the next change, and especially the horrific damage that's going to happen from the whole COVID and what's going on in frequencies is going to really make people see the need 
to master this area. Um, Amazon Shaman from the East um, is making similar predictions. He's now committed to teaching the Western world the wisdom of the ancient Eastern medicine healers. And he even teaches about bird symbology, essences, about chakras, how to keep your chakras clean, all this kind of stuff. So the wisdom of the shamans is fast coming into the West. And this is one of the things that I'm really keen to bring in to the world and be part of the leading edge over here and get as many on board as we possibly can and get people sharing the word out and bring this wisdom and start to make a blooming change to what's going on in our civilizations and others and um, and see enough people um, do this. Because like I said, I grew up in the country. I like this country. I like the country of Australia. I know some of you probably feel the same with your countries. And I believe the one chance that we've got in seeing some radical changes and a change in consciousness has got to happen on a fairly strong scale. So if you agree with me, just raise your hand. Um, but yeah, look, since the early 2000s, mental health and mind, body, spirit connection is becoming way, way, way more recognized. It's fantastic. Um, this is becoming more accepted mainstream, which is great. If you've got mental health issues, you can talk about it. Meanwhile, in the background, this continues to grow and is going to become mainstream next 10 to 15 years, probably even less. Um, it all interrelates, um, the auric body. And in fact, we're seeing a rapid growth in practitioners who do machines like the avatar machine, the infraceuticals, the, the Rife machine, which scan the frequencies of the, affair, of the ferric body and use frequency uploads of remedies into a homeopathic um, bottle, which you can then take and it under your tongue and it then goes through your system and over five days cleanses you out. I can remember one time when I had a really lot going on and oh, my bowel movements and everything was shocking. It was so profound what it did. So it, it helps you to see the imprints or other blockages about to enter the physical world and things are going on in your body which are not being dealt with. I even had a situation a couple of months ago when I saw someone, and it actually showed up, but I'd picked up an energetic pesticide um, and it all happened due to a bad experience I had a few months earlier somewhere and uh, that I'd missed that. So as an example, it's very effective. So as I said, Hoxie was killing, curing cancer using such devices, and boy, did he get targeted by the TGA, as you could probably imagine. Um, so we're seeing an explosion of healers who know how to do this, but it's still a relatively untapped opportunity. So that's why one of the things we plan to do is really, you know, this year start training a lot of people in this area to become healers and move into this. It's going to become a huge scope, especially with the great replacement from AI. We see this is going to become big because people are going to, more than ever need to know how to do this kind of stuff and certainly get this um master this kind of thing and repair their bodies and repair others around them and ultimately repair our society because anything that's not cleared from the etheric whether it's a financial thing whether it's a business thing whether it's lo losses whether it's a health issue it's an abuse and that's why many people have been in abusive relationships and that they just keep manifesting issues and never really heal or clear up because the etheric imprint never goes. And once you fix the etheric imprint and get that out, things do become significantly better very, very fast. So um, once you can fix the etheric and get that out, suddenly the ability to have normal relationships connect just fixes. And when I fix mine, from my toxic tendency to track, it got a lot easier. So to explain a bit more, it will inevitably result in these things just simply because the etheric body is what ultimately drives. The eighth chakra is what guides and brings in the stuff in the remaining body. Um, Louise Hay is a more commonly referenced book as a Western healer who is given some really good insights. And I, her book's very, very good. And I've been using this for many years. And um, I, I can remember when one of my sons started manifesting asthma, I just said to Grace at the time, I said, well, it's basically um, grief and that. And generally, he's picking it up from you because of his connection to you. So we helped Grace fix it and his asthma stopped straight away. Um, so some examples on her website. Um, back issues is about support. Lower back generally means you've got major issues around support, either around emotions and love or around finances. Mid back is generally around guilt from the past. Um, like, you know, it's on my back. And upper back and shoulders is about burdens and weights and responsibilities. So mid-back, you don't feel supported. You feel things from the past holding on to you, as an example. 
cancer, generally you hate yourself so much and so much deep things, the hatred eventually eats you alive and kills you. This is what Bill McRae, a great psychotherapist before his time, who my dad worked with when my dad had this incurable illness, which in the 70s, and he secretly saw this guy and he got cured completely from migraines because my dad used to get chronic migraines and nothing would fix it. And Bill McRae just laughed and he said, my dear David, he goes, you just don't know how to say no. He goes, it's just basically a way of you forcing boundaries on yourself. So the migraines serve you very well, my friend. And of course, my dad goes, really? And of course, he realized that he always got migraines after being loaded with work, which he did, which he had too much on, but he couldn't say no to his boss. So once he was trained in how to manage his workload and, and talk to his boss and explain what was priority, within six months, he had no more migraines, completely fixed it. So um, uh, so cancer is a good example. Louise Hay healed her own by dealing with this. She dealt on the emotional, mind, body, metaphysical level, and she fixed her cancer. Legs are about walking forward, moving forward in life. You're having leg problems. You've probably got problems with your direction in life. You've got to think about knees, especially about direction, where you're going. Um, that's not trusting the flow in the process of life. Um, a lot of fatigue generally means you've got resistance, boredom. You've lost love and inspiration for what you're doing and you're just kind of giving up. Um, Bill McRae used to always say, you give me any child under the age of 10 who's got asthma, give me the mother for three months and I'll fix the asthma. And he would, because he would say it's the connection between the mother and the child. So um, I found I had asthma all my childhood and everything else. And when I started to learn this stuff and started to work on myself and clear the imprints for my mother, I completely fixed my asthma. Just got rid of it. I got on top of it and I healed it. So neck pain is to do with being inflexible, rigid or stubborn, or as it says in many ancient texts, a stiff-necked individual. Eczema, psoriasis, about burning, anger, irritation, often of a parent or people in your household around you or at your work. Generally, you're just very pissed off, like really pissed off, and you're not owning it, and you're holding it in there, and things like that. So... Yeah, and generally the smothering mother one where someone's mentioned that, yeah, generally grief, like my mother lost her mum at the age of three and it just she just didn't cope with it. So the grief was so severe and I ended up starting to pick up her grief because I was very connected because sons especially are very connected to their mother. I know this one very well because I had major gallbladder stuff and they wanted to pull it out. It's about resentment. The word like galled, I'm so galled about this. I'm so angry and so galled, you know? Um. So, yeah, there's just some examples for you. Who's kind of, you know, raise your hand if you're like, wow, who's like learnt something with that today? Yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? So as soon as I've got something going on, I go, oh, yeah, so what's happening here? Like, um, clearly I've got something going on. And even the other day I was with someone who said, oh, man, I've got really bad eczema build up on my, you know, foot. And I said, oh, okay, so what are you really irritated and pissed off about right now? And things like that. So your body communicates to you all the time. And the good news is of energy stuff, by learning the brain states and getting trained in energy readings and things like that and learning about the brain states, how to do this, you can completely reprogram yourself. Um, like totally. Like, you know, Raymond Grace says, a lot of people believe they deserve to suffer. And I realized I actually believed that. I did. I used to think, well, you can never really grow without a lot of suffering. And he's like, well, what a lot of crap, you know? So many, and so I've been really training myself into I deserve prosperity, a flowing life, and not to suffer, you know? Um, so I deserve prosperity. I'm sure you'd, be, you'd agree, but it's a much better belief to have than, oh man, I deserve to be suffering and, you know, prosperity is not for me. I don't deserve it. You know, I've been a bad person or, you know, it just doesn't, it's not spiritual. I'm sure you would agree with me in that one. I'm in perfect health and well-being and all is well with my soul. I think it's a better belief than I always get flu every winter or I've got eczema that never really fixes or I've had this issue for 20 years and it just never seems to go. And your unconscious goes, well, okay, fine. I'll make sure you keep getting it, babe. So much better belief. I attract quality relationships with love connection. My guy I work, I've been working with lately, I mean, he gave me an affirmation which he told me I want you to read this one because it showed up I needed to. Like, I am a dignified human being worthy of my love, respect, and admiration now. I thought it's pretty cool. One of my affirmations when I started stepping more into this and into speaking, 
I was kind of in a job I didn't really want to do and in a business was I'm a spiritual teacher and I'm magnificently rewarded for what I do with grace and ease. That was what I started speaking of myself. And notice I didn't say I want to be, I said I am. So there's money flows to me personally in the most perfect way through many channels as I praise all conditions and people now. So if you sit there whinging about government and whinging about things and lack of opportunity, you can rest assured you're going to definitely continue to manifest that in your life. Donald Trump, it's well known, this is one of his manifestations. I'm always in the right place at the right time to make the right deal. That's a well-known manifestation that he does. So, and of course, many others. And the placebo experiment in the Oxford Medical Journal, it actually was a true story about a guy who was tricked by his doctor. He gave him a, a, a water inje um, injection and told him it was a special drug that was curing brain tumors, and the guy healed his brain tumor. And then the guy found out his doctor tricked him and six weeks later his brain tumor came back and he died. And this was actually written about. That's so even if everything I'm teaching you is placebo, who cares? And I'm sure you would agree with me. Okay, so before we go into questions and I share about the workshop that I'm going to be doing, um, who's up for some real life stuff right now where we actually start to give you some decent stuff? Okay, so just let me grab my chart. I'll be back. So, so what I've got is I've got my chakra chart, I've got my flower essences, I've got my crystals, I've got my Bereki homeopathic book, um, and I've got all my other stuff and access, and I'm going to just bring all of them into the auric field right now, and we're going to start to do that. So what I'm going to do is let's just do something on the big feet, just get an idea of something you want to shift, whether it's just like and something around your neck, you want to feel a more better state of mind, you want to be more at peace of what's going on in the world, to see more prosperity in your life, get more clarity around your business, um, have something heal in your body. And look, different people experience different effects. Don't have too much of a preconceived idea. Some of you are going to feel a shift. Some of you, we've seen people get instantly healed because their faith connects with, with the faith that I'm sharing and they actually see it happen in real life, you know? And um, one thing I'm actually going to quickly do, which I realize, um, I'm just going to see if I've got some, is who would like to see a couple of the videos where I've actually did that? And before we do this, it just means we're going to go a bit over time and you can see for yourself me actually doing it. So let's just see. So the bath plate essence is out as agrimony, which is worry and anxiety. Okay, so I'm going to show this. So this machine is measuring it. So um, it's showing a bark flower of agrimony for worry and anxiety that I need. Yeah. So you can see if it goes, um, basically, if it only hits the black line, that means I'm really low in that frequency. And I'm very low. So this is what the machine shows. So now I'm getting my, my bobber and I'm doing some energy work. Which is, what is that one? So we're just testing different ones. Uh, views have learned by experience continue repeat the same the state. State. Yep. And what's L? So we went through that, and then now I'm doing some work with my Baba. And so now he's going to retest them. Agrimony. So now it just completely changed. Now means that. That means pretty much now I no longer need any of those frequencies. He was just like, wow, I cannot. He was, he was actually quite excited and blown away by the possibilities. So let's just see if I can find another one quickly. Let's just check the aura. So another one. So checking my aura. So my aura is a little bit above, but a little bit out. So now I'm doing some work to fix my aura. By frequency, it's voodoo, something like that. That's what it normally means, but it's a strong. Possibly even government. So the aura being out knew I had some kind of negative energy going on. Hopefully you can all see this. Just raise your hand if you're seeing it all pretty clearly on the video. Storing it back okay, to the right frequency, infusing it. With the so storing back to the right frequency. Towards the protection. Water, milk, kidney. Okay. 
So this one, I went a bit longer. It took a lot longer. It certainly did. It took longer. No. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> that was the one that was like, and I instantly felt a major shift in myself from doing that. So just simply by changing my frequencies and doing that. So this is one where my pancreas was really out. My digestion, you can see this here. My digestion was quite low. It's on 53, which means it's around the black. So embarrassed by digestion. You can see that little arrow there, which means it's out. It's, it's well out. Putting it back on the right frequency. Putting it back on the right frequency. So now he's going to retest it. You test it. The endocrine system. There you go. Back on the frequency. Yeah, so the 53 was incorrect. It was actually on the 65 and it went down to 52. So that wasn't mine. That was a homeopath using that kind of one. And this was my more recent one. So it's well over on the allergy on both. So you can see there are quite a few of them out. Let's try the other one. That's even better than I thought. That's insane. Goodness. Yeah, so all of them are basically being... That's even better than I thought. That's insane. So this is the one here. Yeah, so I'm back to complete balance here now. That's incredible. The bang, see? The arrows just went straight out. And that was all by doing it right on top. So, look, yeah, I mean, I deliberately wanted to do that and really test and make sure it worked in real life. So who's excited by the possibilities now? At least, like, wow, this is really cool and at least wants to try this and, you know, like I said, make a difference in their life. A few of you, good. Now, okay. So now we're going to answer questions before I go through the program. So let me just quickly answer these questions for you. Um, is there a way to balance hormones? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, everything is energy. So yeah, I mean, if you believe it and do it, that's what I was doing on that machine, Deborah. I was actually balancing hormones. I did that to myself, balanced my hormonal completely. So yeah, absolutely. Um, so how do we, yeah, I don't quite understand that question. The name of the researcher did a remote view. Um, guy's name was Brett Stewart, S-T-U-A-R-T. <coughs> So Brett Stewart, um, then someone says, after your talk last week, have programmed anything on this, the frequency of pure water, still experiencing bad tingling in my feet, despite a now lower blood sugar and reduced cholesterol, any tips, please? Look, the biggest secret is people experience it differently. 99% of the time, there's a, there's a period of time between when you start working the etheric body and the manifest and the physical. Normally it can be weeks, not days. I mean, occasionally it can happen quicker and that's the exception rather than the rule. So you just got to keep in that frequency and know it's done and speak as if it's done. That's the secret. So I don't, many are asking me to email the day trading. That's fine. Someone's got health issues and it become worse. Again, it'd be what you're saying about yourself, what you're speaking about yourself. And it's really starting to say that when well, my health issues were terrible, think about what you've been speaking about yourself for the last few days. Even what you said here, I've got health issues. So you do. You've now said that you've got them. So you've now manifested it for certain. If you didn't have them before, which um, you definitely have them now. So the better thing to do is, is to start reframing it. And that's kind of one of the things I'll be teaching on the program is how to reframe your affirmations. Like, for example, but you know, I'm in the process of my health, of full restoration of my health in the physical. That's, that's better than I've got health issues. I'm in the process of restoring and moving into full health. You know, it's a really good example of something that's a lot better than otherwise, and things like that. So, um, so you can cleanse your etheric, you certainly can. Um, many people say they're shamans. Oh yeah, absolutely, I agree with you, you know, things like that. So yeah, I look, and again, I'm not saying if you've got major health stuff but you don't um, do some work about it, it doesn't mean you don't do some work. Um, uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't mean you don't see your doctors and see your people and keep being smart about it, because I certainly do. But you can use this to start to fast track it and fix it up. So, um, and things like that. Babies who have eczema, yep, same deal. I mean, they're picking it up from the parent generally. That's how that generally works. Um, look, the machine that you're testing frequencies on, I don't know the exact name. There's lots of different ones that you can use. It's not my PC. 
it's a homeopath who is doing it. So there's avatar machines, infocertical, things like that. So there's lots of different machines that can do that. But someone asked about getting rid of belly fat, how I did it. Very simple. I just um, started working on the energy. I used a mixture of working with a of a shaman who did homeopathic work upon me and energy work, as well as doing my own work using this. So a mixture of that um, and working with someone who trained me. So I cannot underestimate enough or overestimate enough the importance of working getting, and learning this stuff properly. And that's how I've how I've done it. So that's one of the reasons I'm offering the course to really teach because it's a process. You've got to learn how to do it and master it. And I've been doing this for years and years and working with the best people. So things like that. Um, Martin, how often does the etheric body need to be cleared to keep optimum health? Oh, how often do you have to have a shower? I mean, I'm doing it regularly. Um, and things like that. So... Sometimes the body gets worse before it clears out. It's kind of a regulation of things. So it's a sign of moving to health. There's a flare in systems. Keep believing. Couldn't agree more, Pauline, and things like that. Someone asked about shingles. Same deal. I mean, shingles in, would be have a definition of what causes it. Um, Louise Hay. So I haven't looked at what shingles means, but there'll be something in that, and you can neutralize the shingles. So, okay, we are running out of time now. So I'm going to actually finish now and go through. So, okay, so I'm going to quickly run through the workshop for those who really like to learn more about this. I trust you've learned some really, really good um, information. So just put your hand up if you've really learned something valuable today that you're going to be able to at least go away with and see things a bit differently. Fantastic. So that's all you came for today. Thank you for attending. Please spread the word and let everyone know we're going to be doing a lot more of this at the Awakening Within to join the works and we're going to keep doing more of them. Stay on our mind list and stay updated so we can really, you know, start to bring change to our planet and our lives. For those who'd like to stay from here on in, I'll be running, I'll be talking about the one day workshop I'll be running and how this will work. So if you have no interest in that whatsoever, it's time to leave. And again, thanks for coming and supporting the work. And like I said, I have no interest in offering something to people who don't want it. Um, it's, I hope you've got great value from this. And I mean that. For those who are interested, and just um, type the, um, you know, just, you know, raise your hand if you're really keen to know more about this. Yeah, okay, plenty of people, great. Okay, so, um, for those who are interested, I'll explain how it works and what you're going to have to invest and things like that. So someone says, I thought you are going to show an example of infusing. That's what we were doing at the end. Um, we were actually doing, oh, hang on. You're right. You're spot on. I realized that one thing I forgot to do was do some work on everyone. So thanks for reminding me, Deborah. So let's go and do that before we go into the workshop. I completely forgot. So what I want you to do now is just think of the issue that you would like some help, whether it's shingles, whether it's an issue in your body. Thanks for bringing me up on that, everyone. I, with the videos, I completely forgot. So who's ready now for some real life energy shifting and want to feel and, and, and see? Again, they have no preconceived expectations. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, because there's so many people, I'm going to infuse the highest frequency potential from the bark flowers, from the crystal connections, giving you the crystal, the stony energy of that crystal and that stone, and the flower essences, and scramble any negative frequencies, any kind of unhelpful spirit guides that don't actually help and are speaking bad shit in your head. Just scramble and clear them up out of your mind. Apply the Raymond Grace Protection Protocol to all of you and clearing out anything that's not serving you in any way, shape, and form, EMFs, places like that. And scrambling any unhelpful frequencies of the highest priority right now that can that are necessary for the particular issue or thing that you would like some help with. This is going pretty heavy as I would have expected because we're scrambling frequencies. Now we're going to transform and, and, and infuse all the necessary flower essences, whether they're bark, the Lemurian essences, the shell essences, the Malcolm essences, the crystal connections, um, the stuff from pretty much the Bereki homeopathic dictionary, the crystal chart, anything that's going to be the highest possible 
serving and frequency now. Oh, right. okay. So just take a sip of water if you've got one and just raise your hand if you did actually feel something or felt a shift. And if you actually experienced something profound, please type in the text chat. Lots of people. Good. So if you didn't, it doesn't matter. Um, at the end of the day, if you believe it, it will something will happen for you. So just type in the chat if there's anything that really happened profound. Like I said, often we see people get an instant healing or something released, and we have seen that happen before. Oh, head cleared from Pauline. Thank you. It's awesome. That's great. Yeah, I find that kind of stuff a lot more peaceful. Yeah, I, I that's why I clear myself daily because it removes all the negative influences of people's voices around you. The frequency is what's going on the planet. That's awesome. Um, Alexandra felt it going through a whole body, but it's really good. Magnificent. Someone else feels a lightness and slight tingling around the neck. Surge of energy, releasing tension, weight lifted. Um, yeah, and of course, when we do the workshop for those who come and, and we build up to it and teach more about that, good chance some of our best healings have happened in longer form workshops. So, okay, so let's just go through the workshop. So I'm going to be giving a special offer. And the only reason why is because this is an early bird kind of teaching one today. I'm going to be doing a few more classes on this over the next couple of weeks, um, free webinars on this stuff to offer this program. So I'm going to look after you really well. So it's going to be a one-day workshop to really teach you all this stuff on how to master the metaphysics of health and energy, apply it in real life to see change, and really just save yourself some serious dollars on supplements. So I'd be very surprised if you learn this stuff and you don't pretty much regain the cost of this course just in the savings that you will do on supplements. And again, I can't guarantee something like that because each one's different, but my experience is this stuff has saved me an absolute huge amount and people who are, who are doing this. So um, it'll be including really, um, it'll be the principles of shifting energy more depth from the scientific the etheric body medicine and going a lot more into depth, the homeopathy and flower essences, how they work and effective, secrets of manifestation by the yogis and quantum physicists, dowsing principle and techniques, how to apply to health and well-being and finances, practical daily exercises you can do, access to recordings, and a lot more. So it's going to go into all that, as well as doing real life stuff on you, helping you deal with allergies or other stuff, and just seeing how we go, you know, like being able to fix your tolerances. For me, I used to have a very bad sensitivity to certain foods, completely fixed it by doing this stuff. I can now eat certain burgers and foods and other stuff I couldn't do before. And it's been really exciting. I've been experimenting on it, even with, with ice cream, white bread, stuff I'd never eat, and being able to literally see no change to my health and state of being. So you'll be learning that. Um, I always like to follow up one day workshops with a follow up class to explore challenges, tips to implement and give options for ongoing learning and mastery for more keen students. So I'm going to be giving a special um, deal on this only because, like I said, you effectively, I haven't got a set date for it. It will be happening in, in, in July. It's a big step of faith, you know. So this is what I'm going to be generally offering when I start doing it. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is giving a special deal for people tonight. So if basically finances are an issue, that's fine. Um, and yes, it will definitely be recorded if you can't attend live. That's a, that's a question. So it'll be twenty nine seventy. Um, basically 10 payments, Australian dollars that is, by the way. So if you're in US dollars, it'll be less. Or two twenty five payable up front. I'm only going to do that tonight. I deliberately set the coupon code to tonight because when I start doing my next classes to offer it, the, the, the special is going to be 250 so I'm, I'm doing that tonight purely because of that, because of the fact this is the first one I've done. It's probably a bit raw, this webinar. There's probably some improvements I could do. I went a bit over time and things like that. So, yeah, this is kind of because it is a big step of faith and I want to reward. So just, just raise your hand if you're interested. Just raise your hand if you are really interested in being part of this. Yeah, awesome. So, yeah, um, that's the sole reason I've done it. I've done that. Not for any other reason, but, to, but because... It, it, you're basically investing. We'll be giving a set date over the next um, couple of week or two. We'll be confirming the date. And because of that uncertainty, that's why we're giving a little bit less than normal. So that's the actual sign up for the workshop has been put into the thing to click on it. 
um, and the coupon code heal yourself. Okay. So if you can also put the heal yourself coupon code in there as well, that would be really good. Just so, um, and I'll just quickly show you on the screen how to do this. Um, so you can see it for yourself. So that's the link that you'll be taken to. If you do it, um, you will click on it. Um, it's a one day, but there's a follow-up workshop after that. There's a follow-up Q and A uh, and a bit of extra implementation. So what you would do is you click on the promo code, you type in heal yourself and click apply. And now you get new, just, just that way you get the new amounts. Okay. So you don't end up paying too much for this program. Um, and then of course you just go in, you complete your details and go in there, place your order and get access. And like I said, that coupon code is going to expire tonight, just to be clear. So um, if you go on basically the next morning to do it, it won't work. Um, and yeah, please copy the promo code exactly in the right casing and everything. Okay. And that was Australian dollars. So if you're newest dollars, it's only about 20 bucks a month for about 150 or something like that. So it's a lot less if you're in US and in, in your currency. Um, so US dollars, it's about that. So how many hours? I'm not sure, Debbie. It'll be long enough to get the job done and make sure I give some damn good content. So I would imagine it'll probably start, it'll probably be about, you know, somewhere between eight to 10 hours, I'd imagine. Probably start around 8.30, 9 Australian time and finish probably around 6 o'clock or whatever. I'm just going to go as long as I need to. If it goes longer, I mean, people can always leave early, but if it goes longer, yeah, look, there'll be lots of practice. And that's why, as I said, I, I can't, say exactly how long. So I want to make sure people get some damn good value from this program. So I'm not going to kind of limit it too much, but although I am going to aim for a certain thing and stuff like that. So in terms of will it convert to US dollars? Well, yes, it certainly will. It will convert to US dollars. It'll, it'll do it for you automatically. Um, will it be on a weekday or weekend? Most likely on a Saturday, but I will confirm exactly on that one. So yes, it will convert to US dollars. Um, so yeah, that's basically how this works. So any more questions on this? Any more questions about it and how it works? Saturday be pretty, look, it's very likely to be Saturday. No, it's not US dollars, it's Australian dollars. That's the price, it's in Australian dollars, um, not US dollars. The installments are done weekly. So good question, Diane. The installments are done weekly. Um, will the class occur towards end of July? I honestly don't know. That's why I'm giving a really good deal tonight. I honestly can't answer that. It'll be more likely earlier in July. Um, I'd say some, more in the, probably the first half of July. Very unlikely to be beyond that. Do you talk about investing? Well, I don't teach on finance. This is an energy clearing one, but we'll certainly be doing some stuff around clearing and shifting energy around that. Will you run the workshop again after July? I honestly don't know. We'll, I mean, I, I can't answer that one again. Um, I assume we'll have access to the recordings of the class if we can't make a live class. Absolutely, you can. If you've actually bought it, just, just let me know. Just you know, raise your hand or, or send a private message in the chat if you've already bought it or you're going to be buying it tonight oh wow yeah quite a few 21 people 20 30 yikes okay well it looks like it's popular well i'm glad like i said i'm deliberately made this a very decent price i mean previously i used to charge a lot more for courses like this but i've deliberately done it at a very very you know workable price because i, I just want to get the knowledge out for people so very humbled and very grateful to you all so um that we can do this okay um helen and hugo process before i enter the code help please yeah look just email our support team um if you've done that helen um i'll just put it in the um i'll answer it for you here and get them to sort it out for you okay so will there be a replay of the class for students absolutely there will be there'll be a re there'll be a recording of this one sent out i'm also planning um tomorrow morning to do a quick 15 minute um 
um, summary version of this as well, just to send out for people as well. So if people want to do a, a quick summary. So can I pay with PayPal? I'm pretty sure that you can. Um, the payment link, Debbie, is here. Um, I'll just put it in the, um, just put the payment link back in the text chat if you could. I put it for you and send it to you. Um, Joe wants to program how to sign up. Yep, just click on that link, Joe, the one which I've given there. Um, I'll just put it in here. And then make sure you put the coupon code. I'm pretty sure you can pay with pay with PayPal. Um, have no idea what the time will be European Alexandra. I honestly don't know that. Um, it'll depend um, on that one. But can I pay with PayPal? Yeah, if you have any problems, um, email. Um, you can pay. You can pay direct in PayPal. What you would do, Alexandra, is just use. Um, I'll just put it in the chat. Um, I'll give it for everyone so you can see it. Support. This is our PayPal account. So you can just go into that one and pay direct if there's any problem with that one. Um, so I want to sign up at issues assistance. So Suzanne's having issues. Um, maybe just email us privately here um, when you said issues. So heal yourself little why, that is correct, yes. Heal yourself is little why. Okay, see you in July, Carol, that's great. Yes, there will be recordings if unable to be there. Can you put the link back up to purchase the course? Okay, sure, I will do that right now. So that's the link. So. Hopefully you can see that link. So I'm just gonna plunk that in there. Yes, so you put a capital Y in the chat code. If did, apologies, but that's what it should be, exactly like that. So that's it there. PayPal address, I'm putting it in that text chat if people can see it. Um, if people are specifically wanting PayPal. Um, in fact, I'll put it here so you can see it. PayPal. That's the PayPal account. Yes, you can have the recording. I think I've been asked that about 10 times by now, but yes, you can have the, the recording. It will be available afterwards. So hopefully you can all see the payment link there now. So Diane, yep, there it is. Um, that's the payment link right there, exactly as it's on the screen. Yep, that's fine. Um, we'll certainly be having recordings. Suzanne said capital Y lowercase. I use a capital Y and it worked. Okay. Yep, that's fine if it did. That's good. Deborah, I signed up. It's awesome, Deborah. It's great. Question We did infusion. Was it anti clockwise to scramble and clockwise to transform? Yeah, correct. That's what I've trained it to. It's all training the mind and the subconscious. That's all I'm basically doing, so to speak. I'm not able to click on the link in your video. It also won't let me cop and paste. Can you send it in an email? Well, Diane said link isn't working, but it's definitely working. You must have typed because a lot of people are doing it, Diane. But let me um, what the best thing to do? I can send it to you. Um, just just type in the Q and A, die in your email, and then the team can send it to you immediately. And Jeannie, if you could do the same, if you can type your email in the in, in on this somewhere, then what we'll be able to do is a team will be able to send it to you. So anyone who's having that problem, just put it in the Q and A. But yeah, look, the link is um clearly in the chat, and it's kind of hard to know what else we can do here. But yeah, we can email to you immediately on the spot. So okay, yep, we've got that here. So just confirm, Jane, are you able to immediately email this link right now to these people, to Alexandra and to Gerda? And just blind copy me in. So just confirm on the chat, Jane.
Yep, she's doing it right now. So you'll be getting it right this minute. Um, yep, so Karina wants it as well, Jane. So you will see it in the question and answer as well. Yep, you can see Pierre. So just make sure you're writing this down, everyone, and sending these out to people right now this minute as we're doing it. So this way everyone gets it. Yep, there's another one here. Okay, we're certainly getting inundated here. So, um, yeah, the promo code is there. Someone's saying they can't see it, but it's there. I'll just go back and show you. Um, Yes, it will be recorded and you'll continue to have access to the recording. Um, yep. Yep. Um, hello, and Hugo. We're looking forward to the workshop. Absolutely. Yeah. So it's good. So. Well, the promo code, um, hang on. So, Pia, you need to basically, um, yeah, no, it's only working till midnight, Pia. So, um, what's your email? We'll get it to you right now. Okay, I'll quickly show you the promo code because it's there. See here, it says have a promo code. Can everyone see that? Have a promo code. So, you just click on that. Hopefully, you can see that now. Okay. Oh, Pia, the time where I'm at in Perth is 7.50 and things like that. Suzanne, I can join later. You can, but you'll be paying um, a higher price. That's all. But yes, you'll be doing it. So I'm just going to quickly, um, you know, Pia, I'll see if I can email you right on the spot as you have to go while Jane's doing that and getting it together. Okay, link, I'll just get it to you now. And hopefully you'll get it. You can tell me if you've got it or not. Okay, I've emailed it to you. I'm just having a lot of fun trying to get my the beautiful joys of doing this. Okay, P, I've sent it to you anyway by email, so that should hopefully make your life a bit easier. Okay, great. So Good night, everyone. Yes, yeah, so thank you. Um, so someone else has written, Galaxy's lost order form now. Okay, I'll just put it up here again for you. Here's the list in the chat for you. Um, yeah, Perry, you're having trouble paying it yet. Yeah, the other one is you can always, um, you know, do the support at theawakeningwithin.net. <laughs> Helen, will I get you sleep if I take the class? Maybe not. But hopefully so. So some people are already receiving the emails, so hopefully they're hitting you. Um, so, yeah, you should get the email. Like I said, we're keeping it open tonight. So um, if you have any problems, um, let me know. Uh, let us know at the support at the awakeningwithin.net email. Um, 
that's the email just let us know because then we can um you know fix it to you for you tomorrow so if you've genuinely had problems or whatever but yeah it's because the coupon code will expire tonight so okay so joe wants it okay yep we'll see if we can get it to you now joe just get this across to you um okay so wow we've had we're sending a lot of signups everyone diane hasn't got it okay i'll get it to you right now diane i'll i'll should be able to email you immediately so um, Okay. Hey, Diane, you should have it by now. I'll just send it to you. Yeah, Debbie said if you if you paid twice, um, you know, I hope you haven't paid twice. Look, if you have, just let us know and we'll fix that. But yeah, try the PayPal link otherwise. So the PayPal link, I'll just show you it here. Hopefully you can see that, Debbie. But yeah, just pay it. And if there's any problems, just let it know. Okay, well, it's on the screen in front of you, but I've also typed it for you as well, the PayPal link. So. Anyone else having any problems? Okay, so Suzanne needs the email. What's your email again, Suzanne? Helen, the promo code doesn't work. It does work. It's been working for everyone else. Have you typed heal yourself, Helen? Because yeah, it's working for everyone else. So heal yourself. But but don't put the um maybe the maybe you put that in there. So I'll remove the quotation marks. Just put that in like that. Hopefully that fixes it for you. Okay, so Joe and Di and everyone else, hopefully you've got your email by now. Just let me know if you've got it okay yet. So Joe, you still haven't got it yet? or yeah i don't know janet when you ask about what time are you doing it in the us it depends on where you live in the us i'm looking at around about 8 39 perf time which is i know about nine o'clock at night us um you know new york time as an example so so Joe's still got a problem. So you haven't got the email yet, Joe? Yeah, someone's seeing the, um, the promo code. Not there. Well, the, the promo code is there. Um, I'll show you exactly um, right here under order total. That's where it is. Okay, I'll not yet got your message, so we should get that for you there. Um, let's get this to you now. So Eleanor to send it to you, so you should have that.
So Joe still hasn't got it yet. Yeah, I mean, are you able to see the chat, Joe? Because we're definitely sending it to your email. So I'll just try you again. Yeah, with the heal yourself, are you typing a capital H, Helen? Because it definitely is work. I'll, you know, you can, I mean, yeah, you can see it for yourself when you go, it's been working. So, look, the other option is you just, is you pay it, but then just email us and we can, or just do it on PayPal and just pay, pay it on PayPal was the other option if you're really having that. But yeah, it's working for everyone else. So, you must be typing something in incorrectly. Okay, so Eleanor's got it. Hell, enough to enter the credit card number first. No, not necessarily. Um, all you've got to basically do is go on. You type it in there, like I did that there before, exactly like that, Helen, and heal yourself and apply. Now, I've already been done, so it's it's got the, the lower price, and then you type the rest in. So, yeah. Um, Jenna, I did heal yourself without any capitals. That's okay for discount. Yeah, well, as long as it worked and you saw it drop to 225, that should work perfectly. So. Okay, anyone else or is everyone now sorted? So, Joe, have you got your thing yet? Yes, it's fun, isn't it? Sometimes, I mean, it's just different people. Getting used to technology is fun, so then having to start again. So, yes, I understand. Yes, yeah, so all you do to pay with PayPal is you just simply just pay directly, Helen. You just go in there and you just go into your PayPal account and just do support at awakeningwithin.net and just pay, you know, $225 Australian direct. That's what you would do. So just go into your PayPal account and just do that if it's, if it's not working. Okay, hopefully everyone's now fixed well and truly. So, okay, before we end now, anyone got any final questions or having any more problems just so we can fix this up? Okay, so Perry wants the... Um, PayPal. Yeah, maybe um team is saying um someone's asking if you don't get my payment, having to go to PayPal, just maybe check if we've got it yet, Grace or one of the ones. Yep, so everyone should have got emails by now. So Perry, yep, we're sending you the um you know PayPal address. I just did PayPal. Great. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, Paulie, I need to use the right phone number to see the confirmation code for the visa. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not sure how that works. In terms of asking about the date, I, I, I don't know. It'll be probably in a week or two. I will know the date for sure. Sometime in the next week or two latest. So thank you, Jeannie. Very, very good. Thank you very, very much. Lovely. So People saying the coupon code is not on the page. All I can say is bingo. 
you'll have her promo code. You just got to look at for that under here. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yeah, so and as like I said, anyone getting problems, we can do that. Yep, so just click the one, have a promo code. Yeah, what you can always do is refresh. Not sure of your phone number, Pauline, but yeah, I mean, that's something you just got to put in yourself and complete, not us or whatever. So, Okay, so like I said, so what we're going to do now is finish it now and end and end today. And but thank you everyone so much for your support and your commitment. It's very, very great you've done it. And we will see you at the program and let everyone know in the next week or two. Thank you for your support tonight. And we'll go from there. In terms of what I'll take to discover, Suzanne, I honestly don't know. Best if you're really stuck is just to use a PayPal account. That's really what we can do or email us at that support at Awakening Within if you're still having problems. So awesome. Thanks very much, everyone. And um, that's the PayPal account which is put in there. Yes, you'll be, give, you'll be given a recording in the next day or two. It'll be sent out and it'll be on our YouTube channel for the Awakening Within as well. So thanks, everyone. Bye for now.